Is you do incest clickbait? Yeah, no shit, I do incest clickbait. Like, it's it's funny for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I lack quality, but I make up for it with cringy behavior and bad jokes. Ha ha ha. Today we're going to take a look at a pretty scummy guy that exploits his quote-unquote little sister for views. He also does some other questionable things involving underage kids. Actually, his whole channel is pretty questionable. He's been causing a lot of problems recently. Wow, you're finally doing a video on a topic that's not five years old. Timmy, I have the orphanage on speed dial. I swear to God. Where's Nanny McPhee when you need her? We will never want you. Then I will never go. As always, I hope you guys enjoy the video. We hit 100,000 subscribers just recently, so that's exciting. Follow my Twitter if you guys want to have a good time. Wink, wink. <laughs> To the people who keep sending me their nudes, please don't. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you guys. All right, let's go. Meet Touch Delight, a British YouTuber and ex-Viner. We love those Viners. He's been on YouTube for six years and has amassed a whopping 500,000 subscribers. He's a pretty basic YouTuber doing some pretty basic things like story times, reaction videos, pranks etc. At a quick glance, he seems to be just a normal guy uploading some videos, but the more you search into his channel, the more you find some weird and very questionable things going on. My friend, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> That's actually so funny. I'm gonna have to smash that one. For the people that aren't hip with lingo, this is what smash means. Not gonna lie, that's kinda weird to say that about a picture of a little kid. Touch the Light gained a lot of attention in the YouTuber community a few months ago when a fellow YouTuber, Anything For Views, tweeted out one of his videos with the title One kill equals remove one clothing from my 13 year old sister. Obviously, I hope the class can see why this is wrong. He's using an underage girl stripping to get views. But when you actually go and watch the now deleted video, you can tell that the girl was not actually 13 and the title was just clickbait. Basically, me and my 13 year old sister are gonna be playing Fortnite and if I get a kill, she has to take something off of me. A quick research tells us that this girl was actually 17 and not his sister, which is still technically wrong according to the law, but it's not as bad, I guess. This tweet and this video title exploiting a little girl for views Views is what started the growing hate towards Touch Delight and his channel. Side note, one kill equal remove one piece of clothing in Fortnite is actually a trend going on in YouTube right now. A lot of YouTube's top creators are making these videos and I don't really know how I feel about it. These YouTubers are using Fortnite, a game that targets a young audience, my five year old cousin plays it, and they're pairing it with girls that are stripping. Is this your first victory? Babe, you know what you gotta do. This ain't my first victory. This ain't my first time to the rodeo, you feel me? Should you be smiling while you look at me like this? Yeah, I'm gonna smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but according to YouTube, I'm the one who's corrupting young kids' minds. Interesting. <laughs> After seeing the stripping video, many YouTubers in the community started to look more into Touch Delight and they started to find out how scummy this guy actually is. This Fortnite video was just one of many scummy videos this guy has on his channel. He built his entire channel and career on clickbaiting incest slash pedophilia and jumping on any relevant trends that he can. I went through a lot of videos on his channel and 9 out of 10 times his video titles are blatant lies and had almost nothing to do with the actual video at all. I filmed Jacob Sartorius and Millie Brown kissing. Okay, you filmed two kids kissing. Congrats. You want a cookie? Hey FBI, are you are you watching this? You might want to take a look at this guy. I hope she answers. I'm, I'm not really too sure where she is. I could drive to her house right now, but then again, that's kind of creepy just for a video. Do you know what I mean? Hey! How are you? Yeah, no, I'm good. Oh, yeah, no, I was gonna send you it the other day, but I didn't have time. Anyway, basically, I'm filming a YouTube video right now, and I don't know where to put the, you know, the video I took of you and Jacob kissing for truth or dare. I'm not sure if I should put it in the video just because the kiss is kind of awkward. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. All right, well, I'll let you get on with your busy life. I know how you get sometimes. <laughs> All right, in a bit then. I'm gonna save you guys the time and just tell you that the whole video was fake. In this eight minute video, the only thing he really does is pretend to be on the phone with Millie Brown and that's it. He got over a million views and 25K likes for pretending to talk to a famous girl on the phone and his fans believe it. My faith in humanity slowly withers away each and every day. Reading people's suicide notes because 
because that's normal. And if you are just sat at home right now and you want to like talk shit about me, like you want to hate on me, you want to like unsubscribe, dislike the video because of the title and thumbnail, I don't know, then you are really sad and I really do like expect you to leave me alone. Like I don't give a shit if you don't want to watch me. I don't give a shit if you think I'm being offensive because I'm not. To me, he comes across as this like arrogant, moody teenager that has no clue what he's talking about, but... He just likes to talk, you know? I just want to say, um, rest in peace to, like, everyone that's killed themselves. Uh, it's sad that you've done that. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I'm not some sort of, like, therapist. What's it called? I'm not, like, a therapist. Like, I'm not very good at, like, being nice and stuff. So, yeah, just don't kill yourself. Like, honestly, it gets better. Rest in peace to everyone that killed themselves because that's, like, not cool. Totally not fun. It gets, it gets better, I think. This video blew up on his channel and it's one of the most viewed videos and he must have noticed that it did really well because a few months later he tried to recreate it with reading my brother's suicide note. The devil made me do it and the devil will make you do it too. See like what the actual frick is up with that? They're obviously in some like deep hole or something like that. That's honestly That's so, imagine like actually killing yourself because the devil told you to do that. There is so much to like the earth that I don't understand about. Like it makes no sense. It's all in people's brains though. Like once someone's brains like messed up, like they'll believe anything. What do you think? A few lorely tearless cries later. <laughs> and reading some more people's suicide notes. Seriously, what kind of person exploits people's suicide for views? And don't even try to tell me this guy is trying to help people. The tags he used for the video are, this video will make you cry, challenge. If he really wanted to help people, he would have had hotline numbers and charity pages in the description and not, wow, this was sad to film. This guy's really scummy. Also, his quote unquote brother who wrote the suicide note was not actually his brother at all. And he has his own channel where he pretends to catch child predators. So that's fun, I guess. These videos are just a few of many, 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 many examples of this guy using massive clickbait of tragic events, pedophilia, and incest to get views. And to his credit, it does work at getting him a lot of views. His videos do pretty well, but when you have to clickbait to pull in your audience because your personality is so lackluster that no one wants to watch you, that definitely says something about you and your channel. If you're entertaining enough, you shouldn't need to clickbait bathing in bleach for 24 hours to have fans. <laughs> So after Carmi got a lot of attention on YouTube and in news articles, he started to receive quite a bit of hate on his channel, but he didn't really respond to any of it. He just kept uploading to his channel like nothing had happened. A few months went by and people noticed that he was still doing his incest clickbait and YouTube wasn't doing anything about it. So people started going after him again. Keemstar made a tweet telling YouTube that they should take a look at Carmi's channel if they are trying to keep the site clean. And this must have been the breaking point for Carmi and the hate he was getting because just Days ago, after that tweet, he uploaded this. Hey, one pistol. I've been thinking so much recently, um, and I'm just super pissed off with YouTube. Like, I really don't want to be making videos anymore. It's actually so messed up when I think about it, because like, I literally don't want to be filming videos. Like, I literally don't want to be posting on this social media site. I don't want to be here anymore. It's so annoying. The amount of problems I deal with is actually ridiculous. You would have no problems at all if you just stopped using underage kids and incest for views is that is that too much to ask from someone <laughs> all you gotta do is make normal videos so a lot of people are gonna be like well it's your job like you're constantly posting weird videos you do incest clickbait yeah no shit i do incest clickbait like it's it's funny for me i literally pretend my 18 year old friend is my sister and people literally get triggered about it when people get triggered about my shit i get money and i get views like there's a reason i actually do it the more triggered people i attract the more money and clout i get like think about it wisely why does this guy have fans he admits to clickbaiting his whole audience for views and money and that's his only goal who genuinely wants to follow a guy like this <clears throat> he's my favorite youtuber tippy that's even low for you you gotta set your standards a bit higher Keemstar literally makes a profit out of talking shit about people on YouTube. Like, what are you doing? It's so boring. It's a bit weird. If you put it in the sense of him being a 40-year-old man living by himself and chatting shit about 18-year-olds and people younger than 18, like, you're a bit creepy. I wouldn't be surprised if Keemstar has touched little children, but, like, we're not gonna talk about that. I wouldn't be surprised if Keemstar touched little kids. What? <laughs> you're the one who said you would smash a little kid and you constantly use kids for clickbait 
Is this guy insane? Anyways, the video goes on for a few more minutes. Carmi says he plans on changing his content away from the clickbait because he's making no more money from YouTube. He also says he really loves his fans, but then again, he just talked about money for seven minutes. So I think that kind of negates it a tiny bit. He ended up deleting this video probably because he realized how dumb it sounded. His channel has recovered pretty well. He gets almost no hate on his videos anymore, which to me is kind of shocking. If anyone is watching this and you're a fan of Touch Delight or Carmi and you made it this far in the video without disliking and telling me to kill myself, please leave me a comment with three reasons why you like Carmi. I'm genuinely curious because I've yet to find one likable thing about this guy. If one of your reasons is he's hot, I swear to God, you're banned. <laughs> Can I ban people? I don't even know. At the end of the day, Carmi claimed in his apology slash rant video that he's going to change his videos from the weird incest clickbait stuff. So hopefully he's learned his lesson and he's going to change his ways. But I'm going to be honest, my faith in him changing is about the same as my faith in my car that breaks down at least once a week. There's not much faith. <laughs> Alright guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Fun fact, most people don't make it this far. They usually click off by now, so technically this is like a secret club that we're a part of and only people that watch the whole video can join. That's pretty cool. Do you guys feel special? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you guys later. Bye!